Hey water signs, welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is going to be your collective reading for the week of April the 30th through May the 6th, give or take a couple of days. Very general messages for the water sign collective, so please do not force this reading to fit. If you are seeking a private session with me, you can find information in the description box below about booking. Um, also, if you are new here and you would like to have access to the entirety of this video and all of the weekly videos, you can find it on my Patreon along with a lot of other perks. Um, and readings that link is going to be in the description box below as well okay so let's see water signs let's go ahead and tap into your energy for the week we're going to use the psychic oracle to get an overall vibe to see what's going on and then we'll move into the tarot to get the extra details get the extra tea on what you need to know okay so let's see clarity confirmation for my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios for this week, Holy Spirit, please take a second, you guys, to go ahead and hit that like button. It helps the content to circulate here on YouTube, and it helps me to come back to continue to give you guys these lovely messages. Ooh, strength card. Okay, so power, but it's equivalent to the strength card in the tarot. Leo energy showing up here as well, water sign. So it's like you're transforming or you're acting differently or you're handling a situation differently this week. The number eight could be significant as well. Just the energy of Leo could be significant. Um, but something about you is changing, whether this is like your confidence is changing for the better. Um, it's like a different side of you is showing this week or something or someone is bringing out a different side of you, but it feels it feels good, okay? Maybe some of you guys are standing up for yourself um, or you're just changing. Something about your confidence, your strength, your leadership, um, the way you handle a situation, the way you interact with a person or a situation is changing this week, okay? Let's put this back. I'm going to get a, a couple more shuffles and then we'll pull for you guys, see what else comes out. Clarity confirmation for my water signs. I am seeing memories of love here, okay? I'm seeing partnerships and alliances um, here as well. Some of you guys, you might be trying to resist something or someone this week. Okay, firm foundation. What is it that my water signs need to know? What is your energy looking like overall for the week? Throat chakra. Okay. You could be voicing your opinion. Somebody could be voicing their opinion um, when it comes to you or in regards to you, water signs. Throat chakra energy. This is also the energy of Taurus. We are in Taurus season. Um, but you could be dealing with the Taurus or just have a significant placement. You can have like Mercury and Taurus for some of you guys. Um, or Taurus and Mercury, should I say. And then we have firm foundation. Now, what I'm also getting is there is something that's being communicated to you um that it's kind of it's resulting in some sort of stability some sort of foundation new foundation firm foundation some sort of um good start some sort of new energy or some sort of renewal some sort of stability or security here um maybe somebody is getting the confidence to like tell you something speak their truth to you water signs or maybe this is you towards someone else that could also be the case or maybe it's just completely you know unrelated to like a person but more just related to like your stability as far as like your finances your home life um etc etc so let's see another four so this is card number four the heart chakra is also card number four okay so it could be in regards to like love we have harmony here too or whatever your heart's desires um, and we have the power card here. Okay. Material harvest, discontent and boredom. For some of you guys, there is someone that's like, you bring out a different side of this person. Okay. Like somebody's really attracted to you. Um, you just kind of, you just have a, an effect, a different effect on this person. Um, and they're like telling you that, or they're moving towards you. It's something like that here. Um, somebody really wants some sort of, um, I am picking up on a possessiveness, but somebody really wants to have, and I'm hearing ownership, okay, over you. Uh, for some of y'all, it's not the best energy, but for a lot of you guys, it's like, it's a real solid person or opportunity coming in here that wants to build with you, all right? And I feel like they're going to be communicating that. So 
let's see what's going on with the tarot for you guys for this week i am doing the spreads a little bit differently so i'll pull a card for like who what is coming towards you the second card would be how do you feel about it um and then the third card would be like the overall outcome of the situation or the actions you will take towards you know the energy etc so we have the ten of wands already at the bottom um and the earth signs i believe it was the earth signs had the ten of wands um in their reading as the first card out so go ahead and check out the earth signs reading if you feel like this resonates for you um if you have earth in your chart if you're dealing with an earth sign or just to overall get a full uh picture all the pieces to the puzzles to the puzzle go ahead and check out all the readings you guys so let's see the eight of swords what's going on for my water signs this week what's coming towards them who's coming towards them clarity confirmation holy spirit Ooh, the nine of coins, which is the nine of pentacles. This is Virgo energy. Okay. Now this could be somebody that's single. All right. Somebody that's independent because it's giving partnership, like the, the desire to have a partnership with you. Um, it could just be simply a Virgo or simply somebody that's single here, or simply like some sort of opportunity for some of you guys. Let's see. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Okay, so the Eight of Cups is here. Some of y'all are not really interested in whoever or whatever this is. Now, give me one second. Let's see what the overall outcome slash your actions are going to be because I'm getting a couple different storylines. The Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. So what's coming towards you does feel like somebody that's single or a really good opportunity um i feel like there's a need for you to detach yourself from something or someone else though or need to release something or someone else in order to take advantage of this opportunity that's offered this person um or there's something like that you're leaving behind or needs to be left behind here in order for you to welcome this in or take in this opportunity the overall outcome slash your action towards it is the nine of wands, um, the knight of wands, excuse me. So I feel like you guys are desiring whatever this nine of coins is. Some of y'all are desiring to be single too. It's something about the energy of like you releasing, letting go of, getting away from one person, one situation so that you can embrace another opportunity. Some of you guys also have like a fire sign that's like that you've walked away from, you're walking away from, um, that's really on y'all's tail this week. All right, let's see what's at the bottom. The Four of Cups is here. The Queen of Coins, the Palace of Coins. Either you guys have significant earth in your chart, um... Or there's somebody showing up here that's viewing you as a missed opportunity. I just see you very detached. I see you like walking away from someone. I see you focused on your happiness. And I see somebody watching you. Page of Swords. The Emperor. The Hermit. Like in silence. Or somebody's like in their feelings over you. But they're not really speaking on it. Okay. So the energy just kind of went left. Water signs. Let's see what this Nine of Coins is. Who was coming towards you? Nine of coins. Let's see. Clarity confirmation. Maybe it's an opportunity like for you to be single or you to do something independent. Or it's like something that's offering a lot of value. Somebody that's offering a lot of value. What's this nine of coins that's coming towards my um, water signs? I feel like I called y'all something differently. So if I did, <laughs> I apologize. But what's this nine of coins for my water signs? Uh, we have the magician. Okay, yeah, we have the magician. We have the higher fit. So that's Virgo energy again, Gemini energy, Taurus energy, um, and the ace of swords. Okay, let's see. What's this eight of cups? Actually, what's this ace of swords? What's this ace of swords? Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, 
three of swords. Somebody wants something with you, but I feel like they've caused, you know, they've ruined it already or they, they've caused a lot of heartbreak already. Um, for some of you guys, there's somebody wanted to like connect with you, but they're in their heads about like it not working out for some reason. Like they want to commit or they want to offer something. They want to work with you, but they are in their heads about it not working out or somebody getting hurt. What's the eight of cups? Or whoever this is that's moving. Some of y'all got somebody coming towards you also. It's like. It feels like somebody's afraid of you walking away. And they want to offer you some sort of commitment because they don't want you to leave them behind. What's the Eight of Cups? The Seven of Pentacles. The Temperance. I feel like you're choosing your peace, though. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Strength card. I feel like you are choosing your peace. 